subscribe its fun time channel and click on the bell icon to get the recent updates of its fun time channel and don't forget to like this video hi friends welcome to its fun time channel and i'm here with another new video so friends in today's video i'll show you how to do crystallization of salt so most of you must be thinking what is crystallization actually? So, let me tell you this. Crystallization is a chemical solid liquid separation technique in which mass transfer of a solute. Here, it is salt from a liquid solution to a pure solid crystalline phase occurs. So basically, we separate salt from salt water solution by creating a saturated solution of salt and then heating it to create a super saturated solution and then cooling it at room temperature. So the materials required to do this is a spoon for stirring and a bowl, half a bowl of water and some salt. Well the amount of salt required is not defined because you might need more or less salt according to the quantity of water. So take as, as much salt as you can. So firstly we will take some salt and create a saturated solution of salt in water. So most of you must be thinking how will you get to know that the solution is saturated. So to know this keep on stirring the salt in water and keep on dissolving more and more salt till the time the water dissolves no salt. Means if some salt is left at the bottom of the water uh, salt water solution means the solution has become saturated so here i'm mixing the solution so you can see this so now i think it is visible now i'll keep on stirring the salt now as you can see that the water has dissolved all the salt so I'll add some more salt and I'll again dissolve it mix 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 so you can see friends even though I've dissolved the salt a lot but still some salt is left at the bottom of the solution so I think this solution is becoming saturated well still I'll keep on mixing a bit and see if we are left with some salt or not my solution has become saturated so now what I'm going to do is that make the solution super saturated one so I've got an electric stove to heat this solution so what I'll do is that keep the solution on the electric stove and heat it for some time and add some more salt to make it super saturated as you all know that when we heat a solution the current like the solution of salt and water the kinetic energy of the particles of water increases and so does the intermolecular space and thus more and more salt can be dissol can be dissolved in it so let's make the super saturated solution so friends i'm heating it now and now I'll add some more salt to it. I'm adding some more salt to it. So, here, I mix the salt. Mix, mix, mix. And I keep on mixing till the time the solution becomes super saturated. So now, the water is going to boil and it is going to absorb more and more salt in it. Dissolve more and more salt in it. Oops. So. I mix the solution. Well, the water has started to boil. Now, let me take a bigger spoon. Now you can see the water is boiling and it is dissolving the salt. And guys, can you see some salt dissolving in here? 
Well, I think it won't be visible in the camera because of so much of the steam. But let's do this. The crystals of salt have started to form. So friends, you can see that the water has become really hot now and the water has become white in color. This indicates that the crystals of salt are getting formed. Well, so we'll hit this till 5 minutes extra and then we'll put this uh, solution off the stove and allow it to cool at room temperature. So, let me heat this. Friends, you can see that the crystals of So friends, I think we are done with this. You can see the crystals of salt forming on the surface of the bowl. So, I'll turn off the electric stove. So, I've turned this off. So, now we let it cool for some time and we'll see ourselves how the crystals of salt form. Well, if I take a side view of this, you can see two layers of water there. You see, one layer is here and another layer beneath it, which is, which is white in color. So, that is the salt layer and we are about to get crystals from there only. And let me tell you guys, it is going to be really cool, so stay tuned. So, I'm showing no time lapse. This is cooling down automatically so quickly. And you can see that it is trying to look like a solid. Let me check this, guys. See this, guys? These are the crystals of salt obtained. Now, we are going to see pure crystals, crystals of salt after some time. So friends, most of you must be thinking that why can't you cool it down quickly by putting it in a freezer? Well, this is a million dollar question and let me give an answer to this. If you put the solution in a freezer, after you heat it at very high temperatures, then there is a sudden drop in the temperature of the solution. And a sudden drop in the solution uh, does not lead to the formation of nice crystals or it doesn't lead to the formation even. So we have to cool it down at room temperature so that we can get nice crystals. Let me check this. So I'm putting a button knife inside it and see guys. Well, it won't be looking too clear, but as you saw, the whole layer above the white layer was moving. That the crystals are forming too quickly. So friends, we have finally got our crystals. See this. You can see the shining crystals on the surface. You can see the shining particles there and you can also see the salt we have got salt crystals deposited on the sides on the edges of this bowl this is really amazing guys i hope you like this video and got to learn something new from this video and let me tell you this is one of the easiest way to do crystallization so i hope you like this video and that's a wrap up on this video and we'll meet on the next video.